Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement your own dark mode for your React applications using context. Okay, so what you can see on my screen right now is kind of like a clone application of the stream results for Twitch. Uh, the content's not really that important here. What's the most important is this little button down here or this little toggle option for dark mode. When I click on it and it goes to yes, well, you can see that the theme of the entire application has changed. If I untoggle it, you can see that it goes back to light mode, okay? So how am I controlling this currently with my React application? Well, I'm just using some state at the app level. So I've got is dark mode, set is dark mode is equal to use state false, right? And then I have this function that allows us to change the value of that state by taking the previous value, okay? Then I'm using the is dark mode property that's kept in state, and I'm basically passing it as a prop to all the elements at this level. Now, if I look at the insights page, for example, so I come to pages and then insights page and click on this, well, you can see it's being injected as a prop here, and then it's just forwarding on to another child component called insight tile. So it's actually not using it. It's just using it for the purpose of forwarding it on. And then insights tile itself is using it to establish a class, right? So if is dark mode set to true, then the class of dark, dark mode is being applied to this section here. And then essentially from the CSS point of view, you can see there's my CSS class. And then down at the bottom, I've got dark mode, and this is changing some background colors based on whether that's set or not, okay? So that's currently how it works. There are a few other places where I'm passing is dark mode around. So for the layout, I'm passing it through to set dark mode on the main element, which once again, you can see controls a dark mode flag down here, which changes the background, the color of the text. So that's the layout. And then lastly, you can see the slide toggle is this little drop down there at the bottom here that we've been clicking on. I'm passing the value in there, as well as the toggle dark mode option, which is the function, okay? And all that's doing is changing the state of the slide toggle. So basically, if it little white things on the left or the right, and when I'm clicking on it, it's just emitting or calling that function that changes the state, okay? So that's essentially what this application does. But the problem with this is it doesn't scale very well, right? Because if we think about it, we're passing is dark mode around all over the place. So we're passing it at the layout, we're passing it in the insights page, we're passing it in the slide toggle, and then inside of insights page, we're then just forwarding onto insights tile, right? Wouldn't it be nicer if we could do something like this? We could say we don't want to pass it around, we want to remove it from here, and then when I go to dark mode, you'll see that it's currently broken. But then instead of referencing it as a property, say I want to reference it within the component itself. So we go, let's say const is dark mode equals, and then we get it from somewhere, right? For now, I'll hard code to true, and that will make this work, right? But obviously when I refresh and we go back to light mode, it stays in dark mode, okay? So this is where we can take advantage of something called a context inside of React. And a context is essentially a wrapper component that allows you to share a bit of data through your component tree. Now, what is a component tree? Well, you work with them all the time. And that is essentially, it's a component that has children and its children has children and so on and so forth, right? So the insights page is a child of layout, which is a child of app. But because app is exposing insights page here, it will actually be able to inject that dark mode directly. But insights page has or many children of type inside tile. So app is the root of this component tree. The inside tile is, let's say, the leaf or the end of the tree, right? The end of the branch. So that's essentially what we mean by component tree. So when we use a context, we're sharing data across all of those components between 
insight tile, insight page, and app, sorry, and app. And also, it will mean that layout will get it and slide toggle will get it based on this current design, okay? So, how do we actually create a context and how do we share this is dark mode through our component tree? Well, the first thing we need to do is actually create a context. So I'm going to create a constant to here for the moment. I'm going to call it theme context, because if you think about it, a dark mode is part of a theme. And I'm going to set this to a method called create context. All right, so this is part of the React framework. So I can just call the React library. We can bring that in. And now we have ourselves a context, okay? Now, as I said before, a theme context is just a special wrapper function. But this wrapper function has something called a provider. Okay, so basically if I go theme context dot provider, right, this is something that has a value on it, which you can't really see here, which I'm surprised. But because it's a special wrapper component, you actually wrap it around all the bits that you want to inject a single value into. So I want to inject the dark mode into everything that's inside my app. So I wrap it around everything inside my app. All right, so we'll do this and then that, like so. And then this provider, as I tried to show before, has a value prop, like so. And this value prop is the thing that we want to share, okay? Now this could be a string, this could be a number, it can be almost anything, right? As long as it can be passed around, it can be reused. It could be a function, for example. But for our situation, we're gonna we're gonna share an object around. And what's gonna be inside this object is, well, our is dark mode and the ability to toggle the dark mode. So this function here. Okay. So this is what we're gonna share across all of our components in our component tree. So this is how you set it up. But obviously it still doesn't work because we haven't used this context inside of that tile, all right? So now we need to be able to get access to that context that we just wrapped around our, our uh, component tree and we wanna use it here. So how do we do that? Well, we call a special hook called use context, all right? This context takes an argument and it has to be the context that we wanna retrieve, which in the case of this application is our theme context, right? So that means our theme context has to be exportable. So we'll export that. And then I will come over and import both the theme context and use context. And use context is part of the React library once again, right? So if I save this now and I refresh, well, that should have worked. And once again, I know why. It's because I have to destructure the object that I put in the theme, right? So keep in mind, this is an object, right? It's not a value. If I was to say before, just go is dark mode, like so, then if I had what I had here a moment ago and refreshed, now you can see it works again, right? But I want to have both of those things in my context. So I'm going to put this back to this. And then I'm going to put this back to destructuring it instead. So if we save this and we toggle, now you can see dark mode works for this part of the application, right? Obviously, the rest of the application still works, but that's because we're still referencing the is dark mode on everything here. So if I get rid of, say, this prop, and we say the layout's no longer going to have a prop called is dark mode, and we'll leave the slide toggle for just a moment. But if I save this, then obviously we're gonna get some inconsistency. So we click, and now we can see that the tiles are using the context, but the layout is not, right? So now all we have to do is come into our layout, and we do the same thing we did for the tile. We just go const is dark mode is equal to, right? Use context, and we're grabbing our theme context. And then we just get rid of is dark mode from the properties here. And we just need to make sure that we're importing use context like so. I'll just push this to the top. And 
save. And now if I refresh and try to toggle, you can see now the background is also being used, right? So we've put the contact or the dark mode where we need to in terms of showing it. Obviously the last place we need to change is the actual toggle itself, which is still taking advantage of state, right? So this state is essentially still needed, but it's only needed for the purpose of providing it to the context, right? We shouldn't need to pass it through as properties anymore at this point, right? So and it can get rid of it there. Now the issue with this will be that if I click it, you can see nothing happens, right? So now we need to come into our slide toggle and we need to do the same thing here, all right? We've got our is dark mode and our toggle dark mode options up here. Well, we're gonna use our context. So const, and then we're gonna have the structure, use context, theme context. Just like we did before. So this is a, a reusable pattern. And then I'll bring that up to the top and save. And now if I refresh this application, everything is working again. Cool. Now that's a simple context scenario. Uh, we can finish there and this application be nice and, nice and happy. And you're taking away the issue of now having to use property uh, properties everywhere or props, right? But we can make this even better, right? What if at some point we only wanted to apply the theme to parts of our application? Well, we can't do that right now because the theme provider is being wrapped around the entire application. So one pattern that you'll commonly see is that you'll create your own wrapper component, which has the capabilities of just managing the state as well as managing this theme context provider, okay? The other thing that we should do, be doing is putting our theme context out of app and into its own file. So let's do this first bit, right? Let's get this theme context into its own file. So I'm gonna create a folder called theme under core. That should be under core, not under insights. And so here I'm gonna go, okay, we're gonna call our theme context js and all this is going to do is essentially this one line here okay and that just keeps it away from app right where app is only meant to be intended to just show the root here uh for now let's import the con theme context back in just so we can get it working again so now we just need to import theme context all right, so to get it back to a working use case. And if we save, well, I'm not sure why that broke. Import error, theme context is not exported from app. Ah, yes, because I moved it, right? So now this is one of the other problems I'm gonna address in a minute, is theme context is still assumed to come from here. Now, Instead of just going through and updating all of these components to change the location of the theme context, let's try something different. Let's create a custom hook to address this problem so that we don't need to continuously worry about the fact that the theme context has been moved. So let's come to our source folder. And this is not necessary to do by the way, but I just think it's good practice. So you go hooks, and I'm going to create a use theme hook. And we're going to export a function called use theme, which is just an arrow function. And all this is gonna do is it's going to return use context, theme context. So now this import will only ever belong to this one file, like so, right? And then for the rest of the application, we're just gonna make reference to this use theme now, okay? So we can come to all the places where it's failing, like this one here, and change this to use theme instead, like so. And this does, well, more importantly, it does one thing. It actually cleans out the number of namespaces you need to get this working. So let's get rid of the two up here. And we just need to re-implement the same thing in all the other places where it's breaking. So we go use theme here. We're gonna remove 
that. Let's put that kind of up here. And then we'll get rid of use context. And then lastly, we've got the insight tile. So that's this file. We're going to call use theme here as well. Remove the context, clear out the imports. And whoops, I just want to shuffle this around. And now it's working again, right? So we can toggle this backwards and forwards and all our errors have gone away. And then the very last change we wanna make is we wanna get this state out of our app and into our own wrapper component so that we can reuse it across other parts of our application if we want. And to do that, I'm just gonna create another component that's inside the components folder. I'm gonna call it theme provider because that's essentially what it is. And what happened? The folder already named theme provider, okay probably because I've done this before. So it's currently empty, you may not have that folder. So in here I'll go themeprovider.js and this is just gonna export a regular component called theme provider. All right, it's going to take in the children, like so. And then it's, whoops, I made a mistake, I forgot a parenthesis here. And this is going to return, obviously, most of the stuff that we want in the app to do with the theme context. So this thing here, so we're gonna bring that in, and we're gonna close it off, and we're gonna import children uh, under that. And then all I need to do is go, okay, I'm gonna grab all of this code, which is our state management. We're gonna put it inside of our wrapper component, like so. We're going to address the import issues. And once we've done that, just let me deal with spacing here a little bit. We're just gonna clean up app very quickly here, remove the use state, change theme context.provider to now just theme provider, because the theme provider is our wrapper component now that does all the stuff that's here, like so. Then we will replace this value down here. Remove the unneeded imports, like so. Fix up the imports a little bit, save. And now we should have a working application again. So if I toggle, you can see that the theme is still working. But let's look at what we've done now. We've provided a wrapper component that inside of it, has some state, and that state is injected to anything underneath this component through a context that we created called the theme context. The value that we're injecting is the state of is dark mode and the function toggle dark mode. And then because we have done this, we can now consume, and that's the key word for context. They used to have a concept of consumers with class components but we can now consume the value of this provider in each of our areas in which we need it. So if I just close all those up and say our layout, for example, that is now consuming that context through our custom hook that we created. And here I'm just grabbing the is dark mode flag. And then if we choose say the insights tile, we're doing the same thing here. We're consuming that context, grabbing is dark mode, and ultimately, if we look at the slider control or the slide toggle component, sorry, my bad, this is consuming both is dark mode and the ability to change the value, okay? So this is how we can use a context to help control state across multiple components in a component tree. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all next time.